Researchers are looking at an alternative therapy for a poorly understood neurological condition. They're studying whether magnetic brain stimulation could help treat a form of dystonia which affects thousands of Australians. Emma Rebellato reports. This used to be Margot Chiverton's life. She was the principal bassoon player in the Adelaide Symphony Orchestra, but her career was cut short because of dystonia. It was a really huge thing to come to terms with and I was only in my mid-30s when I had to give up, so it's really mid-career. Dystonia is a neurological movement disorder which causes muscles to contract and spasm involuntarily. For some people it can affect the neck, pulling the head to one side, making everyday tasks like driving, walking and reading extremely difficult. It's like a tug of war going on in your body. It's like some muscles are pulling one way and some muscles are pulling the other way. Treatments can include medication, Botox and physiotherapy, but for some sufferers they simply don't work. Despite many years of research, we still don't really know why, what, what the underlying pathology is and why some people develop it and why uh, others don't. And, and so, of course, then we don't have very effective treatments that actually target the, the physiology. After conducting a pilot study into dystonia, Dr Lindley Bracknam has now received a grant from the Brain Foundation to focus on cervical or neck dystonia. Sylvia May has travelled from the Blue Mountains in New South Wales to take part after being involved in the first study. During the treatment, my head could turn to the left normally. It, like my disability just fell away for that 20 minutes while the treatment was running. In this study, one group of patients will receive magnetic stimulation, while the other will receive a sham treatment. They'll then take part in exercises and will be tested for any improvements. If the results are positive, this non-invasive therapy could help treat patients in the future. It's the most